we're ready to go racing at the British Grand Prix at Silverstone. Lights out, away we go. Max Verstappen getting off the line, but it's a good start by Norris. A very good start. Lando Norris leads. Piastri's trying to take second, but Max Verstappen around the outside. But it is Lando Norris who leads from Max Verstappen in second place. And Piastri now having to defend from Charles Leclerc as Hamilton goes very, very wide and loses a bunch of places. Yeah, Hamilton's lost out. Russell's gained one place in the Mercedes as well on those softs, but what a start from Norris. Just got the drive. Verstappen's lost the lead, did well to hold on to second but Piastri is so close down to Brooklands. Yeah Piastri's actually having a little look around the outside but Verstappen being a little cautious he knows he's got a rapid car. I mean Piastri was just as quick off the line as Norris he just had nowhere to go as he tries to make it work around the outside Max isn't gonna let that happen there. He's not got grip Max he's struggling on the rear end was really sideways coming into Brooklands and Piastri's coming again towards Cops Corner. It's a risky place to try and go down the inside as we know oh Verstappen going onto the dust I wondered if he would make a mistake he held it well. Both of them launch, but one of them is now launching at a much higher speed, and Norris, dream stuff for the Brit, leading at Silverstone. And Norris has got to be ready for this. Five laps into a 52, and he's got his mirrors full, and Max is closer this time. That was a good exit too, wasn't it? Because both of them got a little bit of rear end movement. He didn't get any this time. He's got a really good run with the DRS. He's going to go for it down the inside into Brooklands. And Max Verstappen has taken the lead from Lando Norris. So Lando leading the early stages. He hasn't given up yet, but I think Max now has the pace. As he comes out of the left-hander, he was out of slipstream too, so he still had decent downfalls. He's in a good place now. DRS is open. Really good opportunity to get past Fernando Alonso. Lewis Hamilton dives past and he has gained a place. He is up to seventh position. Still a lot of work to be done here. He's going chasing after Carlos Sainz. Oh, just a little bit of a lock up there for, uh, yeah, Hulkenberg and uh, that's Perez going through. So Perez getting past. So he's up to 13th place now. A little bit of contact there with the front wing for Nico Hulkenberg. It doesn't appear to be damaged as we see Nick De Vries now. Oh! contact with Hulkenberg. So Hulkenberg in a big battle at the moment, isn't he? With, and he's come in, he's come straight into the pits. This is a chance for George Russell. He's right in the DRS zone. Leclerc is going to go defensive to the inside. It's always a tricky one to go around the outside, but he is putting the attack on. And now he goes around the outside into Luffield. George Russell, beautiful move. He gets past Charles Leclerc, perfectly done. What a move, what a move, George. I imagine he's on the radio right now telling the team how great it was, but it was uh, that one was pretty honest. As Leclerc tries to fight back now into Stowe, not going to happen there. The Haas in trouble there. The Haas, that's Magnussen. Oh, and is a fire off the back. Kevin Magnussen's car, it stopped yesterday in qualifying and now it's stopped in the race. So here's your safety car and this is pit stop time for the top three, top four even. Just uh, passes away for him and uh, that's the end of the day for Kevin Magnussen. It's not a good day for Haas in general. Soft tires for the Red Bull there. I think, yeah, just to use, I don't know how else you can play this, but no, there's hards going on the McLaren. Not that many laps to go. We're under full safety car. There's 18 to go. There might be 15 when we get racing. That's a big call there for McLaren. They're not going to warm up very well at the end of the safety car period. See what Hamilton does. You soft, you soft. Yeah, so that's what we thought, a reverse of what Russell did. It's racy and I like it. Yeah. I really like that. And Ferrari getting ready now with Sainz as well, who's going to go on to a soft, I think. Still a poor, not a great stop. 3.2, better than Russell's, but Mercedes are not on it as well. And as he's Russell. ahead of Piastri. Wow. Hamilton is ahead of Oscar Piastri, so he's leapt up into a net top three. Hamilton is close to Norris, Perez is close to Sainz, and this is the hard tyres not firing up. Second place is Norris, here they go, flashing through. Hamilton is right with him, and we're going to have a big braking zone after this corner. Both, only, yeah, carry on. They say the only benefit that Norris has right now is DRS still not enabled first lap after the safety car, so it's all about getting a good exit right here out of turn four. But man, Hamilton is close. He's he got is. so much more grip. Is there a chance, as you say, DRS not in play yet? Lando Norris going defensive immediately, goes to the inside over the dust that has been put down for any oil that was put down, and he's trying to go around the outside, but Lando breaks late enough. Now, can he do what George Russell did? Go around the outside through Luffield corner. He can't quite do it. Lando Norris holds him off. With every corner, Norris's chances improve on that hard tyre. It will fire up and it will find some grip, but still Lewis is here, down towards Cobb, so we're going to see him move again. Into Cop's corner, he goes in a wider line. The tighter line for Lando is difficult, but actually he didn't lose much time by doing that. 
no doubt they will be thinking ahead to the DRS opening up on the next lap. That was a late break from Lewis Hamilton. Oh, though, he, he's looking oh, at the inside. He's got a chance. Oh, he's got a chance. Lewis Hamilton alongside Lando Norris. Now they're going to be running side by side through the kink of Woodcut. And he's still got that inside line. Will he go for it? This is a brave place to try and overtake. We saw it go wrong between Hamilton and Verstappen a couple of years ago. He backs out, follows him through. You're on board with Sergio Perez, very much closer now to Carlos Sainz. But look how close Sainz is to Alonso as well. Perez is really close. He's going to have a dive here towards Vale. Down the inside, Sergio Perez has a look to try and get past Carlos. Carlos gives him space, and thankfully they don't touch, but he's now got it on the exit, and he's through. Nicely done, Checo. And now the Williams of Alex Albon's going to try to capitalize on the Ferrari side by side into Stowe. Wow, he's done it. Alex Albon gets past Carlos as well. Alex has gone up into eighth place. Oh, yes, from Alex Albon. Really good commitment at the first corner. Now it's Leclerc around the outside of his teammate, creeps over track limits, but will have the inside for turn four. And that one far up the inside from Sergio Perez, but Sainz way offline, left him vulnerable. The Red Bull came through, the Williams came through. Now his teammate has come through as well. Sainz are way out of line there. Oh, this is a, another one he could lose from Pierre Gasly. Gasly goes around the outside, and Pierre Gasly on target for 10th position. Oh, look at that. Did they touch almost? Sainz coming back up the inside and Gasly into Cops corner. Oh. That's brave and that's good from Carlos Sainz. You can make it through if you're there on the uh, on the way in and he's committed enough. Gasly not defending the inside. Oh, we've got contact. Gasly. Yeah, he look, is he broken? He's got a broken rear suspension, yeah. I think. Stroll's come from off the track there and, and launched in at the next corner. There was space to stay on the track. So that's, a, that's Stroll for me. So I think Lance will get a pen for that. Second and third in the championship, these two as well. Perez trying to pick up that set stream. Here we go. Sergio Perez down the inside, makes the move up into sixth place, gets past Fernando Alonso. He had the straight line speed he needed. Max Verstappen comes out of the final corner. Max wins the British Grand Prix. It's the first time he's won it as the British Grand Prix. The second time he's won here at Silverstone. Lando Norris finishes in a brilliant second. Lewis Hamilton in third. Two British drivers will be celebrating on the podium. Piastri finishes in fourth. His best finish in Formula One. Fifth place for Russell. Perez sixth. Alonso holds on to seventh. Ahead of Alex Albon, Charles Leclerc and Carlos Sainz. Well done, mate. That's our first win here since 2012, and it matches a record of McLaren of 11 wins in a row. So, uh, yeah, mega day for the team. Well done. Yeah, great job. 11 in a row. That's uh, <laughs> pretty crazy. Well done. It has worked perfectly for the Red Bull team. 22nd win from pole position at Silverstone, just like Carlos Sainz did last year. This time, it was Max Verstappen's example.